As the new year of 2024 dawns, we find ourselves at a unique moment to reflect on the past 12 months with a spirit of gratitude, while also setting our sights on the future with hope and determination. Though the previous year held its share of challenges, it also brought valuable lessons and glimpses of progress, if we take the time to acknowledge them. The great Buddhist teacher Nichiren Daishonin encouraged his followers to approach each new year with optimism and positivity, seeing it as a chance to reveal their innate Buddhahood. As he wrote in one of his letters, known as the object of devotion for observing the mind. Never weakening in your efforts to manifest Buddhahood, you should make this new year the year for triumphing over the three obstacles and advancing with renewed vigor. With Nichiren Daishonin's inspiring call to action in mind, let us reflect on the past year with an attitude of gratitude, showcasing the progress we have made, before laying out our aspirations for personal growth and enlightenment in the year ahead. Looking back with gratitude, as we reflect on the previous 12 months, what are some of the key lessons and experiences for which we can express heartfelt gratitude? Even in life's most painful moments, there are insights to be gained if we open our minds to learning. Difficulties faced in relationships, work, or health may have pushed us to become more patient, compassionate, or spiritually devoted. Challenges overcome can breed new strength and wisdom, equipping us for the road ahead. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Buddhism teaches that, even when threatened by imminent danger, one should firmly chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo without fear. When we maintain faith in our highest potential and the inherent interconnectedness of life during times of trial, we summon our greatest inner resources. Rather than dwelling on setbacks or discouragement, this new year calls on us to harness the optimism of Nichiren Buddhism. Seeing vivid actual proof in the lessons of the past, no matter how painful they seemed at the time. Even minor disappointments and frustrations likely contained insights to inform our future choices. The renowned Buddhist teacher Daisaku Ikeda reminds us that problems and hardships inevitably occur in life. What matters is how wisely you overcome them. As we enter a new year, we would do well to contemplate the many types of actual proof we encountered in the past months, transcending discouragement and cultivating wisdom. In reviewing the past year, we should also call to mind the profound joy of milestones achieved, goals accomplished, and relationships nurtured through understanding and open communication. Nichiren Buddhism teaches that each person's unique mission in life is to reveal their inherent Buddhahood and help others do the same. When we take time to appreciate efforts made in this spirit, it brings hope and motivation. Maybe we finally completed a challenging project that enhanced our community, or took steps to improve an important relationship through dialogue and mutual appreciation. Perhaps we found calm and insight through deeper engagement with our Buddhist practice. Big or small, these are all causes for celebration as we embark on a new year filled with possibility. Setting intentions with hope. In Nichiren's writings, he often repeats the phrase, I will, when declaring his aims and intentions for sharing Buddhism with an increasingly troubled world. As we reflect on the specific aspirations we hope to fulfill in the coming year, we also do well to state them affirmatively. The beginnings of a new year bring openings for renewal, and setting clear goals and intentions allows us to channel hope into determination. Buddhist teacher Daisaku Ikeda encourages us to embrace each new year as an opportunity to develop ourselves and help others do the same. Let us unite, in hope and courage, to make the 21st century a brilliant century of peace and harmonious coexistence. There is nothing we cannot achieve when we work together in high spirits and commitment. In what specific ways can we bring more hope, courage, and spirited commitment to our lives in the new year? Nichiren Buddhism teaches that we all possess a unique mission to utilize our talents and abilities to make a positive difference in the world. The fresh energy of a new year allows us to rededicate ourselves to this purpose with renewed vigor. We may set a compassionate intention to deepen our practice of chanting Dai Moku so we can mentor others seeking spiritual wisdom. Or we may resolve to nourish our minds and bodies through more consistent self-care practices, so we can spread joy to our loved ones from a place of inner stability. 
Setting manageable goals in areas like fitness, education, relationships, or community involvement can give much needed structure and meaning to our aspirations. The joy of goal setting lies not in crossing every item off a list, but in the journey of progress made through sustained effort and awareness. When obstacles arise, we can reflect on Nichiren's teaching that difficulties are opportunities to improve one's life through perseverance. Through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can channel our hopes into determination day by day, using setbacks as motivation to try new approaches. Our own innate wisdom and compassion is awakened when we make a habit of learning from the past while remaining focused on contributing to the happiness of others in concrete ways. Whatever specific intentions we set for the year, maintaining a spirit of hope allows us to see more vividly how even small steps of progress can reveal our Buddhahood. By seeing the year's end as a beginning, we realign ourselves with the Buddhist principles of constant renewal and transformation. The lotus flower, a common symbol of Buddhism, grows majestically from the mud, ever-changing, yet eternally pure of heart. When we actively practice gratitude alongside hope, we too can bloom brilliantly as we open ourselves to life's inherent beauty and potential. Just as Nichiren shared his teachings to help people open their innate Buddhahood, we can vow to approach this new year with compassion, wisdom, and joyful purpose. Through chanting Daimoku and taking action to bring our boldest dreams to fruition, 2024 can become our most empowering year yet. What is your mission, your vow for the months ahead? Let us recite it together. I will reveal my innate Buddhahood and help others achieve happiness. I will reveal my innate Buddhahood and help others achieve happiness. I will reveal my innate Buddhahood and help others achieve happiness.